Today we're feeding our herbivores. Herbivore means animals that mainly eat plants and things like that. Now this is romaine lettuce and butternut squash. He really enjoys it. Go. Now his normal diet is grass. If grass is his normal diet and we're feeding him butternut squash and romaine, these are more snacks. The butternut squash is a great way for him to get insoluble and soluble fiber. Romaine is just a fun flavor fill thing, but a long time ago, his previous owners to the museum that we got him from, so the museum is not the reason why he has these bumps. These bumps on his shell are not what he should have. That's a condition called primiting, and there's a lot of hypotheses on what causes primiting, right Izzy? Some of which is improper diet, some of which is too little humidity. Some people hypothesize too much consistent warm temperature year round. And chances are, almost all of those are correct. But his primary diet is grass. He gets lots of UV because he is free range out in a nice sunny property where it's about 95 degrees out here. And Izzy, how much does Otis weigh? 95 pounds. He weighs 95 pounds. Now, when I worked at a museum many, many, or volunteered for a museum many, many years ago, he was donated when he was about six pounds. And he came in in very poor condition. The museum changed his diet, saved his life. We saw him when he was 80 pounds when the museum offered him to us. And of course we said yes. And uh, we were under the assumption that because of the perimeting on his shell, that he is done growing. And we thought he may have even had possible kidney issues. But uh, turns out he's still growing, and ever since we've had him, he's gained 15 pounds. And he is an eating machine. If you think tortoises are the pet you want... The they, lawnmower for you. They are a lawnmower, but they are very difficult with habitat and with diet. So, And also, they're a little bit of a brute. They can kind of push you around. Look at that horn on the bottom of his shell. Oh, and he's just an eating machine. Now we need to prepare the lizard's diets. First, the butternut... Gosh. Now the romaine. Now the carrots. All right, now we need to prepare them to make them look a little bit more appetizing to the lizards, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so we need to cut them up, but kids, just in case you have pet animals, we don't want you playing with knives, so you always get a parent's help. All right, so now that you cut your carrots and your uh, romaine, now we need to cut the butternut squash. This is something I like to do, but remember, this shell right here actually is super high in fiber. We cut that chunk out for the tortoise earlier today. So now this area with the seeds, I normally don't like to feed the seeds to the lizards, so we'll cut this part off, utilize this side, and then we'll feed it to... The lizards. Now that's all cut, now it's time to start feeding. Now we're going to go feed these to the little tortoises. This is our red foot tortoise. And this is our leopard tortoise. And we will be feeding them some butternut squash and romaine. He's so cute when they eat. This is so tiny compared to Otis. Dominus, I hope you enjoy your lunch. Now, Indominus is our rhino iguana we got as a baby, and she is not quite full grown yet, but we threw in a little extra pineapple. Oh, hi, Grumpy. What the? What was that? What was that, you big grump? It's because you're hangry. Eat your salad. We threw in pineapple, carrot, uh, butternut squash and romaine. She also gets rabbit pellets sometimes and she even steals tortoise food. She will also get bugs on the side. Isn't that right, Indominus? You are in a bad mood! Hello, grumpy monkey! 
She's normally our sweetest lizard, huh? Sweetest it's okay. She just needs to eat her sweet pineapple to change her mood. While our grumpy iguana eats in peace, we're going to feed our other free-range sulcata tortoise. His name is Dusty. He's very small because of about 